I had multiple attackers closing in on me, and this is very much a concern in all the traditional Slavic martial arts, the use of the weapon around my circumference, every loaded position, is, is thought of three-dimensionally. My stick or my sword is never just on my shoulder. My pommel is a, is, a, is a barrel of a gun. It's aiming to hit you here. If I open, then I'm, I'm, I'm either offering targets to try to bait you in or else I'm loading for, for different types of hits. Sometimes I'm not even thinking frontally. As I look at you, I'm actually addressing him. And so from behind, the position of my stick will very much change how I can address the circle, the circumference, the sphere around me. So I start to think globally. When I'm switching my stick in front, it's very much just a frontal address. When I start to go around the head, it's very much about addressing and warding off from all sides, making sure those people who are eyeing you from behind can't get in, or blocking as I, as I work my way through a mob. So these are the reasons continuous motion exists. Now, what we need to be careful of is that when we explore continuous motion, number one, we want to have the fullest capability for motion to begin with. So what that means is we need to train our mobility as a foundational step. If my shoulder is limited here, then naturally when I go up around my head, my movement will be limited. And it may not necessarily be as good as it can be. And in trying to bring the stick up, if my shoulder has difficulties here, I may, through the weight of the stick, actually injure myself. So rather than discover this in trying to apply a movement, it's important that we, we isolate and cultivate our mobility. And we're going to take a very quick look at this before we go further. Secondly, in performing all of these motions and swings, the multiplicity, the, the grouping, the, 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 the many shots need to fundamentally be groups of perfected single shots, meaning we need to start by isolating the singular cut. Even if you look at the fanciest sword work out there, if you see somebody actually doing live cuts, cutting actual objects, they may spin and be too cool for school beforehand and all that, but when they fundamentally come down to it, everybody becomes singular and laser focused. When you see people that aren't live cutting, very often you'll see them twirling the weapon all over and every facet of that stick is flapping and slapping around and not actually ever hitting the target. And we're going to get into this a little bit more deeply next. Um, so we want to be very, very cautious. And I'm strict on this because I've just seen this failure so often. So the very next step is now to revisit our joint mobility quickly using the stick as, a, as an amplifier.